Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been doing shop with me videos in the past several weeks. Um, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing another shop with me video regarding the compact and medium sized wallets. So this is a category I've been shopping for for many years at this point, And I have honestly never splurged on a luxury compact slash medium sized wallet because none of them quite check all the boxes for me. But recently I found one that I would likely to pull the trigger on. So I wanted to share my picks uh, over the years along with the one that I recently found that I will likely purchase in the next couple weeks. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and find this video helpful if you're also looking for a compact slash medium sized wallet instead of the card holders that everyone's searching for right now. Um, for me, card holders are a little bit too small and I already have uh, enough in that category. So before we get started on my recommendations, I wanted to share with you what I would consider to be in the compact slash medium size wallets. There are several criteria that I was looking for on in a compact slash medium size wallets. And unfortunately, the style that I prefer doesn't really seem to be popular anymore, but I do have several um, picks that I can share with you. And I wanted to walk through what, what are the features that I was looking for. So the first feature I was looking for in a compact slash medium size wallet is for it to have at least six card slots. I carry a lot of cards in my wallet and for a compact slash medium size wallet to fit all of them, I needed at least six. But a lot of card holders slash compact size wallets now only have three to four and that's just simply not enough for all my cards to fit in. So that's the first feature I'm looking for. Second is for it to have a zipped coin compartment. Now this isn't a deal breaker if a wallet of my choice wouldn't have one because let's be honest here, who carries change with them all the time, but there's always that one time when you really wish you had a zippered coin compartment or coin press in your bag. So I just wanted to get rid of that one-off scenario and for my compact slash medium size wallet to have a separate compartment for coins. And third feature I was looking for, this is kind of a no-brainer for a wallet that's not a card holder, for it to have a specific compartment for bills. So nowadays a lot of people would just say like fold up your cash and put it in a zippered compartment of your zippered card holder, but I really hate folding my cash because I never know how much I have it in one glance. So I really wanted my wallet to have a separate compartment for bills. So while these three features don't necessarily seem very picky, but it was really hard for me to find a wallet that had all three features. So now I'm going to share with you what are my picks and what is my favorite and is the one that I'm going to be splurging on. So here's my first pick. Uh, you guys probably have seen this on my wish list in one of my wish list videos in the previous years. And you guys probably are thinking, well, you put it on the wish list, but we never see you unbox it. It's because I never bought it. Um, the main reason for that is because I already have a few monogram pieces in my collection, including two bags. I also have a desk agenda in monogram and I also have a key holder in monogram canvas as well. So for me to have all matchy matchy monogram pieces, I thought it would be too much. Um, and I unfortunately don't like any of the other uh, materials that's used for this wallet. They don't make it in epi leathers anymore. So I think they only make it in the canvas or in the on prompt leather. And unfortunately I don't like either option. So you see they have the monogram. I don't like the Dame event doesn't come with like the brown leather inside and Dame Azor seems to only have a pink interior. And I have never been a fan of the bicolor monogram brown either. And other than that, you have the reverse monogram and in a uh, regular monogram print leather. So I don't really like any of these uh, materials that's just made, but I do love the style of this wallet. And that's why I had it on my wishes previously, but I just never pulled the trigger on it because it just wasn't perfect. So this wallet does have all the features that I'm looking for. And like I said, the reason why I haven't bought it still um, is because I already have too many monogram pieces in my collection. And if I were to buy one, I would probably want to buy it in monogram canvas. And that's why I just decided to forego it for the longest time. So as you can see, it has a button closure um, that's very secure. And if you look inside, I'll scroll further down. Um, this wallet does have six, uh, 
card slots, three on each side. And as you can see, it also has um, slots in the back where you can stash some more cards there. And this little zipper compartment here can store the coins. And as you can see, there is a slot for bills um, in the back as well. So this is a perfect size and it is a very functional wallet, has all the features that I was looking for. Um, I did give my mom one of these um, in the on-front leather in um, kind of like the beige color previously. So I know that it's a very functional pick, but just because they don't make it in a material like epi leather, which I would have preferred, or because my favorite pick in this line is the monogram. I decided to not go for it, but if you're looking for a wallet and you don't have a lot of monogram pieces in collection, Louis Vuitton monogram pieces are perfect as your SLG picks because they are so durable in your bags. So this would be a good pick for you if you're looking for something from uh, Louis Vuitton and you don't mind the monogram canvas. So the next wallet pick I have is from Bottega Veneta. The reason why I decided to not buy this is because of the price point. As you can see, it's priced at $720, and that's just a little too much money uh, for my budget. But as you guys can see, they offer this wallet in a lot of beautiful colors, and I think this one is my favorite color because it, it's in that beautiful matcha green. So as you guys can see, it's in that um, large weaved um, style of a wallet, and inside the wallet, it does have six card slots again, as I was what I was looking for. And it also has a slot behind the card slot, so you can store some additional cards there. It does have that, um, it also has that uh, separate compartment for your bills and a zipper compartment for your coins too. So as you can see, this is basically exactly like the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. Um, it's just that this one doesn't have the flap over to close the wallet. It just has that button closure inside the wallet. So that's the main difference. And the fact that this is made uh, with leather fully compared to the Louis Vuitton piece where the outside is canvas. So I think this is an absolutely beautiful pick. And if you have some more room in your budget, I think this would be a great pick for you. Bottega Veneta is well known for their leather quality. So I know this will last a really, really long time. So $720 price point is honestly the reason why I decided to not pull the trigger on this one. Uh, but I do think it's a beautiful pick. And then the next pick I have here is the Celine uh, Triumph wallet in the small size. Um, I really, really love this one. I was considering this uh, seriously at one point, but they never had the color I wanted in stock. So I waited and waited and they finally took it off of their website. So uh, the color selection that they have right now, it's not really my favorite. They have the black, they have uh, chalk, which is kind of like a light uh, cream color. Pebble, which is a gray tone color. They have lot light lavender if you like the kind of like purple color, but none of these colors really suit my taste. So I decided to not go for this, but this has a lot of the features that I am looking for in a wallet. So I really like the Triumph logo, of course, on the wallet. And if you look inside it, let's see if I can zoom in here. They do have card slots, but they only have four of them. So that is a downside of this wallet, but I just really like the leather and the logo combination. I was looking to look past that. And the middle compartment here, that's where you would store the coins. And in the close-up shot, you can see how durable the leather looks and how gorgeous the logo looks. So honestly, just because of how much I like the look of this wallet. I was looking to purchase this in like a dark pink color that they had on their website at one point, but they never restocked this. I ended up not going for it. Um, but if you really like the Celine uh, leather goods and you want to kind of dip your toes into a Celine uh, without splurging on a bag for thousands and thousands of dollars, I think this will be a good pick for you as well. And while this is still compact, it does have most of the features that I mentioned, like a separate bill compartment and separate compartment for the coins. And it does look like that it has 
five card slots, not four. So I was mistaken earlier. So if you don't carry as many cards as I do, you're kind of losing one credit card slots compared to the other wallets that I have shown you so far. So if you don't mind that, this would also be a good pick for you. And it's not as expensive as a Bottega one. Um, it does have kind of like the chunky metal logo up front. So if you like that look, I figured this would be a good pick as well for you. And then the next one I have here, this one I really wanted to buy it for about uh, two years, about five years ago. So um, this is one that I wanted, but way back when I was looking at this wallet, it was priced about $100 cheaper. And even then I thought it was too expensive. And now that it's over $700, I definitely think this is way too expensive for me. Um, but they do have this in a lot of different colors and I do think it's really, really beautiful. So this is a St. Laurent Cassandre Matlesse compact zip around wallet in grain zip poudre embossed leather. So that's a mouthful, but it's basically their compact wallet in the Cassandre kind of like the uh, chevron quilted uh, pattern um, wallet. So if you look here, they have the YSL logo up front, which is very typical for anything in their Cassandre or any other lines of bags that they carry nowadays. And if you scroll a bit further, from the side you can see there is a zipper compartment that takes about half of the wallet. And then the other half is actually a buttoned a compartment where you can put a lot of cards in there. What I like about this one is that it has not only the six card slots, but it also has two additional slots behind the card slots where you can put additional cards in there. So it's very, very spacious and yet it still folds up to be very compact. So you can carry this in a lot of your day to day bags. It of course has that uh, slip pocket in the back for your uh, cash as well. So I thought this would be a really excellent pick um for me at one point in time but because of the price point i decided to not splurge um, but if you are interested they have it in all different uh colors and different hardwares too so you can really pick and choose what you like i'm not sure if you guys can see but that's kind of like a pink nude color i think it's called like soft peach or something like that it's a really beautiful color and i was looking at buying something in that color because i love the color so much but again, decided to not pull the trigger. Um, they had this in like a deep red before I really liked as well. So you guys can probably look around among the different retailers and find the color that you want. Um, since a lot of retailers now do carry St. Laurent uh, bags and small litter goods. So my next pick is kind of an unusual pick. I'm not sure if you guys would have seen this previously, but this one I really liked at some point. And again, I was going to splurge on it. Um, Back then, I think it was about $500, so I thought for the price point, it uh, was going to be a good wallet uh, pick. Um, but again, decided to not go for it because I wasn't sure of whether I would like this specific style. So it does meet, I think, all of the features that I'm looking for in a compact wallet, but the style is a little bit different from the ones that we have already seen. So let's take a look. So this one comes with a button closure, but has a strap that comes with the logo which I think was kind of cool. So it has that Givenchy logo buckle on in the front. And if you look inside, see if I can zoom in. Yeah, so it has the button closure coin uh, slot on one side, and then it has card slots on the other side. So it has one, two, three, four, five card slots with additional slots that um, that's behind the card slots uh, and the coin um, pocket as well. So this is definitely a different layout than the uh, wallet that I have seen before. And just from my personal experience, if you start to stack too many cards on top of each other on uh, one side of the wallet, which is kind of a style wallet that I have from Coach that I'm using right now, the, it makes the wallet really, really thick. Um, and I wasn't sure if I would like this style of a wallet for me to spend hundreds of dollars on it. So I decided to go for a less expensive option from Coach Outlet Stores. 
and I decided that I don't like that style of wallet, so I was glad that I avoided this one. But if you don't mind um, your, some of your cards stacking on top of another, maybe you don't have as many cards as I do, then maybe this is not a bad option for you. And I think it's very discreet. You can't really tell that it's by Givenchy because the logo is very discreet. Um, and I, yeah, it does have the Givenchy like text on it, but it's very, very small. So if you wanted something that's a little bit uh, different and edgy, I thought this would be a good pick for you too. So now we're at my last uh, and my favorite pick out of all the ones that I have shown you so far in multiple categories. So it meets all three of my criterias. It is priced extremely well, and it's still made with excellent craftsmanship and quality. So this one is the Mulberry Folded Multi-Card Wallet. It says card wallet, but it does more than just the cards. So let's uh, take a look here. The color uh, of my choice would be the Mulberry Green Small Classic Green. Um, but as you can see, it is out of stock. Um, forest Green is my absolutely favorite, the most favorite color probably ever. Um, so I am hesitant to buy a different color. I wanted to see if this one will come back in stock at some point soon, but if they don't bring this back in stock in the next few weeks, I may pick a different color and just go for it. So this one, as you can see, is very, very similar to the Louis Vuitton uh, Victorine wallet, but it's smaller because the height of it is not as tall as a Victorine wallet, so it is a lot more compact. It does have that beautiful gold button closure with the Mulberry logo. It does say Mulberry England up front, but I don't think it's so big and obnoxious. Um, so I don't mind that kind of like a logo and branding. And as you can see in the back, there is a zippered uh, coin compartment, which is perfect. And it was part of what I was looking for. And this is the inside of the wallet. It does have six total uh, card slots, but as you can see, there are slip uh, pockets or slots in the back for you to be able to store additional um, cards as well. And while you can't see um, on here, but under, let's see, under the details, it does say there is a note compartment for your bills as well, which makes this perfect. And this one currently retails for $285, and that's what I'm looking for in a wallet. I was hoping to buy one um, for under $500 realistically. I was willing to spend a little bit more than that if I found one that I really, really loved. But this one comes in like a very classic colors, um, has that green texture to the leather. So you just know that the leather is gonna last you a really long time. Has all of the features that I was looking for personally. And it comes in a lot of different colors, unless your favorite color is also green as well. So this is the one that I'm looking to uh, pull the trigger on fairly soon. I just hope they do bring it back in the green color because that seems to be my favorite so far. But some of my other color picks here would be one of the pinks. Um, I think this one is very bright. Um, so while it's pretty, I'm not sure if I want to carry it as my day-to-day -day wallets. This one is more of a muted pink, but nonetheless very very beautiful i also really like the red color but the problem with this one is that it has a silver button and i just don't really like the combination of the two i wish they had it in the gold button because then i would have already bought this i like the yellow one too but then again because it's such a bright color i'm not sure if i'll get sick of it very easily but of course the brown is a classic. Yeah, so this one still has that gold button on it, but maybe it's because of the leather color, the button looks a little bit more muted, but I think this is a really good combination if you're looking for more of a classic colors. But for me, my pick is still the green. So that's it for today's video. Those are my favorite picks of the compact wallets and the medium sized wallets. Hope you guys found this video helpful if you're also shopping for one. Um, like I said, I will likely pull the trigger on the Mulberry one. I just hope that they bring it back in the green color because that's still my absolutely favorite color pick out of all the colors that they make. 
um, let me know in the comment section down below uh, what your pick is among the ones that I have mentioned today um, or if you have a different recommendation for me. Maybe I didn't do the research enough, although I've been looking at uh, compact wallets for years. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and found this video helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see my next one.